Hello everyone. Welcome to Botany Option Channel for UPS Examination. In this particular video, we are going to see an advertisement which is coming from Indian Council of Forestry Research and Education. They are recruiting the Scientist B and there are various educational qualifications which are eligible for this particular post of Scientist B. So some of these qualifications which are eligible for the Scientist B are MSc Botany, then MSc Zoology, MSc Forestry, Water Resource, Hydrology, Soil Science, Biotechnology, Agriculture and Chemistry. Apart from these educational qualifications, there are many educational qualifications which are given inside the notification. So if you are not among these educational qualifications, you should see this video throughout because all the educational qualifications is not given on this particular slide. Alright. So this will be our first video for the botany jobs. For this, we are going to create a particular playlist for the botany jobs only so that student of botany will get notified whenever there is a botany vacancies. Alright. So let us see the advertisement. This advertisement is coming from Indian Council of Forestry Research and Education. Now, this advertisement is for the 54 vacancies. There are total 54 vacancies out of them. For open candidate, there are 23 vacancies. For EVS candidate, there are four, there are four vacancies. For OBC, that is other backward classes, there are 16 vacancies. For ST category, there are seven vacancies. And for ST category, there are four vacancies. This scientist B post has the pay matrix of 56,000 100 to the 1,77,500 rupees plus other allowances which may be admiss admissible under the rules. Now let us see the vacancies one by one. In this particular slide, we are seeing the group one post. Now the very first post is for the forestry and there are total 13 posts. Which, so for the forestry post, the candidate required to have the first class MSc degree in the forestry from recognized university plus there is a desirable qualification of PhD in a relevant subject. Then second post we have forest hydrology here the educational qualification is first class MSc degree in water resource or water management or hydrology or soil and water engineering geo hydrology or geology from the recognized university or first class B or BTEC degree in agricultural engineering or civil engineering with specialization in water resource hydrology soil and water conservation or hydrology or geo hydrology all right for this post as well there is a desirable qualification of m tech or phd degree in water resource or hydrology or soil and water conservation engineering then third post we have is a biotechnology in which there is a one post it requires first class msc degree in biotechnology from the recognized university with specialization in the plant biotechnology for this the desirable qualification is phd degree in relevant subject the next discipline we have is a soil sciences for this we have three posts and the educational qualification is first class msc degree in agriculture from recognized university with specialization in soil sciences or first class msc degree in soil sciences or soil science and agricultural chemistry from the recognized university the desirable qualification is the phd degree in relevant subject now we are looking at the group two post here in a first we have the botany for this we have the nine post all right for this nine post, you require to have first class MSc degree in botany from the recognized university. And if you have PhD, it will be the desirable qualification. The second post we have is of a chemistry discipline. For that, you require to have the MSc degree in chemistry from the recognized university with specialization in organic chemistry. Again, the desirable qualification is the PhD degree in relevant subject. The next discipline is entomology. And for this, you should have the first class msc degree in zoology or agriculture from the recognized university with specialization in entomology or you may have the first class msc degree in entomology or agricultural entomology from the recognized university again the desirable qualification is the phd in that relevant subject the next discipline is forest economics and for this we have here two post essential qualification is first class msc degree in agricultural economics from recognized university or the first class msc degree in forestry from recognized university with forest economics as a specialization again the desirable qualification will be the phd degree in relevant subject now in a group three we have several disciplines here first is plant pathology in which we have the three posts for this particular post we required first class msc degree in botany or forestry or agriculture from the 
recognized university with specialization in the plant pathology or it requires first class MSc degree in plant pathology or microbiology from the recognized university. Again, the desirable qualification is the PhD degree in relevant subject. The next discipline is wood science technology. For this, we have here four posts. The educational qualification is the first class MSc degree in wood science and technology or physics from the recognized university and there is a desirable qualification of the PhD degree. The next discipline we have here is the marine living resource or marine biology. For this, you should you require to have the first class MSc degree in marine biology or marine microbiology or microbiology from the recognized university and if you have the PhD degree it will be the desirable qualification all right there is a difference between the minimum qualification or essential qualification and the desirable qualification is that the minimum qualification is required for the apply purposes to the post and, and the desirable qualification is that qualification which adds value to your application that is you can apply for this post on plain MSc but if you have PhD you will have weightage in the in the interviews right so the next discipline is ecology for this we have here three posts and the essential qualification is first class MSc degree in botany or forestry or environmental science or ecology from the recognized university with, with specialization in forest ecology or ecology or first class MSc degree in natural sciences or life sciences or environmental management from the recognized university with the specialization in forest ecology or ecology again the desirable qualification is the phd degree the next discipline we have here is the forest genetics there are two posts for the forest genetics and for this you require to have the msc degree first class msc degree in genetics and plant breeding or you may have first class msc degree in forestry or botany or agriculture with the specialization in genetics or tree improvement from the recognized university Again, the desirable qualification is the PhD degree. The next discipline we have is the seed technology. For this, we have here one post. For that, you require to have the first class MSc degree in botany or in agricultural forestry from recognized university with specialization in seed technology or first class MSc degree in seed science and technology from the recognized university. Again, desirable qualification for this post is the PhD degree. Now, for all these 54 posts, there are various centers allotted for the written examination now for the written examination there are total 10 centers are given the first center is bangalore in karnataka second is coimbatore in tamil nadu dehradun in uttarakhand guwahati in assam hyderabad in andhra pradesh jabalpur in madhya pradesh jodhpur in rajasthan jorhat in assam rachi in charkhand and shimla in himachal pradesh so out of these 10 examination center you have to select any two centers that is you have to give the preference of the first center and to the second center so out of these two you will get the one center center which is close to your locality all right then the age limit for this post is the candidate must have attained the age of 21 years but not more than the 35 years as on the closing date of the application that is the minimum age for this particular scientist the post is the 21 years and it should not exceed the 35 years of age that is the candidate should have attained minimum 21 years and should not exceed the 35 years of age all right if you, so if you are belong to the sc st or obc category you should check out the notification for the age relaxation if you required so all right and the upper age limit is relaxable up to the 10 years for the divang candidate in identified mark discipline all right that is the divang category people can have the 10 years of relaxation in the upper age limit then let us see about the application fees now for if you are if you belong to the unreserved category then you have to pay the 1500 rupees 1500 rupees fees if you belong to the other backward classes again the same fees that is 1500 you have to pay and if you belong to the scheduled cars that is sc or scheduled trips that is st or divan or if you are a woman you don't have to pay any fees it is completely free for the sc candidate st candidate divan and woman candidate let us see the plan of the examination now this examination is going to occur in a two stages first is the written examination which is followed by the personal interview that is first first there is first there will be the written examination which is followed by the personal interview now first the written examination conducted together 
for the all disciplines now the question paper will be the bilingual that is the question will be said both in english as well as in the hindi there will be total 100 questions and these questions will be of objective type and will have maximum of 400 marks that is each question will have the four marks all right so the number of question will be the 100 and the maximum marks will be the 400 and two hours time will be given for this particular written examination all right then the minimum qualifying marks in the written examination are for the general candidate it will be the 50 percent that is out of 400 you you have to get the 200 marks for obese candidate it is 45 percent and for sc st and the bank candidate it will be the 40 percent that is the obese candidate required to have the 190 marks and the sc st and the mention candidate will require to have the 180 marks so the minimum qualifying marks for the written examination for general category is 200 for OBC candidate, it is 190. For SC, ST, and the Vangan candidate, it is 180. All right. Once you got the minimum qualifying marks and you fit into the merit list, you will call for the personal interview, which, which is of 70 marks. Now, the place of interview is given. That is the IC FRE headquarters in the Dehradun, Uttarakhand. And the candidates are given the liberty to communicate in a Hindi or English language during the personal interview. That is, during the personal interview, you can talk in a Hindi or from the or in the english you have that freedom all right and the personal interview will be of a 70 marks that is 400 marks plus 70 marks the total examination marks are 470 marks out of these 470 marks merit will be calculated and the top students will be selected for this particular scientist b position all right now there are some important notes that is the online application for this particular post is available at the recruitment.icfre.goe.in you should go to this particular website and apply for this post as soon as possible now the online submission will be available from 10 am on 1 4 2019 that is first of april 2019 and it will close on 15th of may 2019 at 5 pm so you almost have the one month in order to apply for this particular post but you should apply for this post as soon as possible all right so thank you very much for watching this video please like the video please share this video with your friends who are studying the botany and if you are not yet subscribe our channel please subscribe to the botany option channel for upsc examination again thank you very much for watching this video see you in the next one